Hey guys, Sonix here, welcome back to a brand new hunt, and today you join me for yet again another egg hunt in Generation 3. This time I'm going to be targeting a shiny Kabuto. I have given myself about 4 boxes in 4 separate copies of Emerald, and I am ready to start hatching. So this is a method in which I generate the eggs, uh, hatch them, swap them over in each game, and then move them over to fire red, leaf green, ruby sapphire, and hatch them until they shine, basically. I'm really hoping that I can get a Hoenn hatch Kabuto. I think that would be really cool. I don't want to hatch it in fire leaf green. I really want to try and hatch it in, um, in uh, Hoenn. This is a method uh, that is commonly referred to as Pokemon box swapping. It is very, very cool. Very, very, very simple. Um, really recommend you give it a try if you haven't already, but it makes egg hunting so nice in this game. And there is a regular Kabuto, so um, I haven't given this an egg move, at least I don't think I have. Um, I think I've just decided to... Let's see... No, I'm not going to give it an egg move because I don't. I think it doesn't really have much that like caught my eye. Either way, I will join you guys back when this shines. And if you're wondering why I'm hutching this, it's because I'm going for a Generation 3 Living Dex. And I basically just don't want to, you know, repeat the same method, because I will eventually suffer a set point in Fire Leaf Green. Alright, I will join you guys back when this decides to shine, hopefully in Hoenn. See you guys then. Oh, shiny Kabuto! Yes! Oh, yes! Shiny Kabuto! Oh, dude, I got the ruby hatch. Dude, I was honestly not really paying too much attention. I'm watching the football right now, and I actually got the shiny. That's kind of crazy. Yes, finally got one in uh, ruby and sapphire. That's really cool. Damn, that looks good. Oh, what a shiny. What a shiny, dude. I am so happy of that. Alright, so um, I'm going to make a quick cut here, guys. So just give me one second. I'm just going to stop another recording. I'm over, like, just about to hit 20k for, uh, what do you call it? Um, shiny Magmar Phase 1, so, in Gen 2. So just give me one minute. Okay, so I'm back. So, shiny Kabuto, uh, that came after... Uh, 2,808 hatched, so very, very nice, um, doing the box swap method as per usual with these hunts. And that is, uh, that is the fossil, that is 
another fossil duo complete. I, I want to hunt another one via soft reset in the future. Probably for a DTQ. This one will definitely stay as a uh, Kabuto. Oh, it's female as well. No way. Are you serious? What is my luck with that? Seriously. Uh, obviously, that is really, really rare. That's one in eight chance to be to be female. Uh, and it is sassy, which I don't really know what that is. I think that's plus special defense something. So I don't really care about nature's whatever, but it is really sick. That's really cool. Um, I'm just going to make a note of which uh, egg it is, because I'm going to reset so I can hatch this in an interesting location. But I finally got a hatch in Ruby and Sapphire, so I've hatched, hatched the three starters. Um, okay, so it's box number four, and it's egg number two. So I've got one, so five, ten. Okay, it's this one here. Okay, I'm gonna make a note of that, but yeah, that is that is incredibly cool. Very, very happy with that. I'm gonna make a quick uh, little showcase, but yeah, I'm gonna hunt the um, another Caputo via the soft resets in Fire Leaf Green um, in the future, but I thought this would be really cool because I've done Omanite like this. I don't know, I just really like doing these egg hunts. I just think they're really, really interesting. Uh, that would have been really cool. Look at that shiny, uh, sorry, normal Saskets and shiny Kabuto. And I obviously cannot escape. Definitely gonna get wrecked. Oh, maybe not. Come on, can I just flee? But yeah, that is really cool. I cannot believe that shines so quickly. I really felt like this one was gonna go on for a little bit, but. Definitely not. Uh, I can't escape, typical, but yeah. Um, I'm going to show this off in Colosseum. Um, so that is the <clears throat> two Kanto ones hatched in Gen 3, which I think is really, really unique. Um, I'm just going to heal up really quickly. But uh, I'll show this off in Colosseum, and then I will probably end the video there. So not too much to say about this one in particular. I didn't give this one... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. I didn't really give this one a, an egg move, if I remember correctly, because I didn't really, I didn't really like the egg moves available for Kabuto. Honestly, I thought they were a bit, a bit average. Um, but yeah, just scratch and harden. So, but yeah, it is really, really cool. Very happy with that another female hatched, one in eight ratio. That is crazy. I'm gonna show it off one more time. see what we get here and it is a normal Illumise. Shiny Kabuto hatched in Ruby. That is so sick dude. I am so happy with that really. So yeah at this point I'm gonna reset and then I will probably hatch it in something like a really cool location that I don't know. You guys drop me suggestions in the comments if you guys are watching this obviously like where, where should I hatch these eggs because I'm going to reset so I know the egg is shiny. I, this egg will always be shiny in this game, so... Um, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. But um, I will show this off in Colosseum. Probably won't show the evolution. I'll probably save that for the software set when I do in the future for some quests I eventually do. But uh, yeah. Alright. See you guys in the next part of the video. Colosseum. Alright guys, join me back in Pokemon Coliseum. It is time to show off my shiny egg hatched Kabuto. I decided to hatch it in Little Root Town, which I thought was very fitting. Um, I do have a backup of the save um, from my cartridge, so if I decide anywhere else, I don't know, honestly, let me know where would be a good place to hatch this. I was thinking of maybe the Seafloor Cavern. I think that fits for a fossil, but I don't know. It is egg hatched after all, I guess, but anyway. Uh, here is my Espeon and Shiny Kabuto. Wow, that looks straight out of Fallout. It literally looks like a Mylar from Fallout 4. Very nice. Um, as I said, I do plan to hunt this in the future um, via the software set in Fire and Leaf Green. Probably Leaf Green. Um, and I will hatch... I oh, know, I've already got both Omastar and Omanite, so... Um, I just need one more and the Kanto fossils will be done in the future, so um, I won't be showing the evolution like I say, um, like I said earlier because um, I do plan to hunt and 
hunt this again and then evolve it for a dream team quest so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys where you guys would hatch your shiny eggs if you had the chance um to hatch them in generation three and see you guys in the next video good luck on all your hunts see you in the next one